SIBA was a great program to help businesses to get out of uncertain times. But what shouldn't remain uncertain are the repayment options. Hi, I'm Jackie. I help make Canadian business owners' goals a reality with innovative financial advice. SIBA is a loan with zero interest until the end of 2022, but they extended it for one year, so the time is up for repayment this year in 2023. There were two major programs with the SIBA loan. First, they announced the $40,000 loan, and later on, they extended it to a $60,000 loan. The purpose of these loans was to help you pay for expenses and continue your business operation when income was an uncertainty. But now December 31st is coming up, and now you need to actually think about the repayment options and which one will be best for you. If you pay by December 31st in 2023, then you'll be eligible for the full forgiveness program. If you borrow $40,000, you would only need to return $30,000. And if you borrow $60,000, you would only need to return $40,000. However, if you don't have the funds to pay for them, then you will convert the whole entire balance into a five-year 5% repayment loan. So what is the best option for you? Simply put, find the money and pay it off by December 31st. Here are a few ways you can put together funds for when December rolls around. First, and the obvious choice, is find the cash inside your company, either in your checking or savings account. However, if cash is tight, maybe there are funds inside your holding company that you've been invested in the last two years. Now, depending on when you have invested this money inside your holding company, there could be two scenarios here. If you've invested later on the year and you are now at a loss with your investments, we can consider these as capital losses and still use the funds to take out of your, from your investment to pay off the loan. The reason for that is because the losses will generate a tax offset for your future gains. So it's still better to take the capital losses rather than not paying off the loan. The second scenario is if your investment is doing well and you're actually at a gain. If you took out funds from your investments to pay off the loan, then you'll get something called a CDA credit or the capital dividend account. Yes, this is more taxes for your business because you took a gain, but it creates an opportunity for you to take out tax-free income from your corporation down the road. So either or, liquidating investments out of your holding company would generate a better return for you than if you left the money in your investment and not pay off the loan. Alternatively, maybe there's no cash in the holding company, but there is a shareholder loan balance that you owe your business. In that case, you should definitely put some funds back in your business to pay off this loan. The reason for this is because the SIBA forgiveness program, again, has a better yield than you not doing this. So put back some personal cash inside the company. And if you don't have the personal cash, look into your personal investment like your tax-free savings account or your non-registered investment account to allow you to take the funds out of those programs to put it back in your company to repay the SIBA loan. If that is finally still not an option, then consider using the line of credit inside your home to put some funds back inside your company to pay this loan. It doesn't matter which option you pick to pay off the SIBA loan, but the most important thing is that you do so. I've done the math and the calculation of not repaying and not getting the forgiveness program costs you almost 17%. So unless your loan is gonna cost you 70% of interest per year for the next five years, it would be cheaper to pay off the loan and get the forgiveness program than not doing it. Don't wait until December to think about this. Start planning for it now. Set aside monthly profits towards the repayment or start getting ready from your loans or assets for withdrawal in December to make that payment. The forgiveness program is huge for Canadian business owners. I advise you to take advantage of it right away. Thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when the new content is uploaded. If you're interested in learning more, we have another video for you. Click here to take a look.